Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you some steps when I made this hummingbird. This is not a full tutorial as such, but I will talk you through the steps and show you how I spray paint it. I'm using Saracino modeling paint. Roll out a ball and then shape it into an oval shape and then use some water or edible glue and stick the paste to the barbecue stick and then stick on the edible bauble as the eyes for the mouth roll out a thin sausage and then taper out one end of the paste and insert a 24 gauge wire and then use some edible water or glue and stick it to the main body. For the wings, cut out two large triangles and then cut a gentle curve on one side of the triangle. On the straight side of the triangle, insert a 18 gauge wire for the support. Use some water or edible glue and stick it to the body. Smudge the paste with some water to hide the joints. And before you stick on the wings, you can indent the wings with some pattern to mimic the feathers using the Dresden tool. For the tail, use the biggest scallop cutter and cut a half circle. Follow the curve of the body and stick on the half circle for the tail. Same again, smudge the paste with some water and hide the joints. Once the hummingbird is completely dry, this is the fun begin. Using edible spray paint, I started with color blue. Um, the color mainly cover the head, the edge of the wings, and the body and most of the tail. Because it's a graduate color, so you don't want to completely cover all the white. Just make sure you kind of like give it a even spray coverage. You don't want to suddenly have a heavy burst of blue. The trick is you kind of spray it from a distance, at least kind of 20 to 30 centimeters away from the object. Then after the blue, the color blue, I straight away spray on the purple on the edge of the wings and the tail. Same again, you want it to have the graduate color to go into the blue so you will start off from the edge and slowly build up the color and go into the blue i mean once i'm happy with the purple I go in with the pink. Same again, spray it from the distance first, and then it's kind of like the more you spray on it, the more the color become more intense. Then I'll just continue to spray the front of the mouth. I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel for new videos and updates. Thank you for watching.